Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to create a logic app which will continuously monitor a location in an FTP server and whenever a file is uploaded or updated in that particular FTP server, an email will be sent by that logic app to a designated email address. So first thing we will do is to create a logic app. Let's type in logic app here. Then click on logic app, click create. And I'm going to call this as filemon, which stands for file monitor. And then I'm going to use a new resource group. Sorry, create a new resource group. And then I'm going to create it in West Europe. It's not going to take a lot of time. Generally, logic apps gets deployed immediately. So I'm going to give it a few seconds. So now our logic app has been successfully deployed. So let's go to the resource group and click on logic resource group and then click on file monitor. Let's close this for a while. You can see a lot of settings associated with the logic app. The most important one is the logic app designer where you can add steps to your workflow, i.e. what is the trigger for this logic app, what actions needs to be taken, etc. So in our case, click on logic app designer. We will be using a blank logic app and we will be using FTP as a trigger. And we have two things because we are not using secure FTP. We are not going to select that. We have FTP. When a file is added or modified, click on it. And then I'm going to call this server connection name as FTP server. Essentially here, we are creating a connection to an FTP server. In the last lab, we created this FTP server. So let's get the server address by going into that. Select the IP address. Then paste it here and give the username and password and the port is 21 and I'm not enabling SSL for time being and then I'm creating the connection once the connection has been successfully created now it's time to select a folder that needs to be monitored here we got a test folder just to let you know I have created a folder in this path, in the physical path that we have given when we are creating an FTP site. And that's what that folder is what we are going to monitor. And then as a next step, whenever a file is added or modified, we are going to send a, an email using SMTP protocol. Let's click on this thing. I'm going to call this as admin notification. And I'm going to use my Hotmail address. So I'm going to give smtp.live.com and the username. This is my Hotmail account. So I'm just using that. And the port is 25. I'm going to enable SSL for this. Now it's essentially creating that connection. Let's give it a minute. Now the connection has been established. Now I'm going to select from myself to me. You might have noticed whenever I'm clicking on a particular field, you're getting all these things. Basically, these are the fields that are available from the previous trigger. So for example, when I'm adding a file in that particular test folder, these are the attributes that are available so that we can use them when we are taking an action. In this case, the action is sending an email. So in the subject name, I'm going to put file name. And when it comes to email body, I'm going to type in a file with the name, file name has been uploaded into the location, in this case file path. 
that's it so let's save this so this logic has has been saved successfully now it's time to test this so let's click on run it will keep on running for every few seconds now this is just for testing so let's create a file and see whether i will get an email notification or not so let's go here and then create a test file here might take few minutes to get an email now it has been triggered so let's see now an email has been sent successfully so if i open my email now you can see an email that has been sent to me so in this lab we have created a logic app that will continuously monitor a folder in an ftp server and whenever a file is added or modified it will send an email to a designated email address i hope you enjoyed this lab in the next lecture we'll be talking about apis see you in the next lecture